So why is thinning important? This is a, an image there of a crop before and after first thinning. So you can see line and selection, every seventh line is taken out, the odd tree in between, that's standard thinning that happens. So what you get out of it is, it increases the growing space, you end up with healthier, bigger trees. Bigger trees normally mean more money. You remove the less valuable material, and it also gives you a bit of income between 15 to 20 years of age and when you clear fell. So there's a new income stream there. Uh, particularly, I'm sure a lot of you are concentrated now because maybe you're coming to the end of your 20-year forestry premium. Uh, that certainly concentrates the minds. We often get a lot of phone calls just about that stage, about thinning. Personally, I would say you should be asking that question before you get to that. Don't wait till 20 years of age. It should be maybe 14, 15, 16 years of age, start preparing. Increased revenue returns versus no thinning. What it is basically about is maximizing saw log production. The vast majority of money you make out of your crop will be from saw log. If you're not producing enough saw log, it is going to affect how much money you're going to make. Now, that's not to say that thinning may not be practical for exposure or some other reason, or it might be left too long. So no thinning might be a management option, but it should be there a decision that you make, not a default position. In other words, you just end up with it by accident. Chags itself has carried out quite a lot of research into thinning, and it's ongoing. Some of the main messages, thinning is more profitable than no thinning in most cases. If you thin early, it's likely you'll be able to reduce the rotation length. The crop will come, be arrive at clear felling stage earlier. 0.7 cubic meters is about the size of the average tree that the sawmills are kind of looking for, and it's possible to produce that 24 to 28 years of age in a productive crop. If you delay it, you have reduced diameter, smaller timber. Smaller timber, less money. You're also increasing the wind throw risk. When you do thin it then, the chance of it blowing over go higher. And lastly, unthinned stands have longer rotation lengths, obviously enough, as I said before, and increased wind throw risk. So Chagas has carried out a good amount of forestry research in maximizing plantation value. We also produced this ready reckoner. Dr. Niall Farley produced it, and it's in your information pack today. But it's a very simple way of looking at the diameter of rest height, what I was the measuring tape earlier on. If you know that and you know the stocking, you'll be able to gauge then whether the crop is ready for first thinning or not.